Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome back to the tutorial series where I go through every single drag and drop icon in Game Maker and uh, tell you how it works. And I will also teach you how to code it for yourself with uh, with letters uh, instead of little icons. So let's get started. Today we're on the main tab under the sprites. Well, that was a little backwards. We're on sprites under the main tab. So uh, we'll start with this one. Change sprite. Uh, when the guy is created, we're gonna we're gonna run this action, and the action is change sprite. And what you can do is choose a sprite that your guy will turn into, and and now our guy will look like a box when he's created. Um, and our sub image is which image in our sprite we want him to start as and the speed is how fast he cycles through all the images in the animation so we can go like this and say animation actually I'm gonna make sure I keep that one um, uh, uh, disappear number of frames 10 alright so now it slowly disappears that was, so that's good and um, what we can do is say sub image is going to be uh, zero would start at the beginning, so five where it would put him halfway through, and then speed is how fast he cycles through. And I want him to disappear a little slower, so we'll go like this. And actually, there's much better ways of doing this than using a sprite that disappears, but uh, we'll, we'll just do it like this for now. Uh, so now, when we run it, assuming that our thing is in there, and we can clear that up, that's from last tutorial. Uh, if we run this now then we're gonna see that our circle is now a square a box he is the, the sprite box uh... now say i want it to be a bigger box i want this box uh, we'll, we'll keep that in there uh... we'll keep the box in there five speed uh... point two uh... oh yeah by the way i that didn't make any sense cause uh... We'll take this and put it in the box because we didn't even get the animation because I'm silly like that. So we'll we'll put the box in there and change it to a circle. That would make that would make significantly more sense. <laughs> it's the morning, so give me a break. <laughs> uh, so if we run that, it'll work. Um, and say we want our guy to be ten times bigger than normal. <laughs> we can do that. We can also set the angle, which we won't be able to tell with a circle, but uh, I'll show you that with our red box. Uh, create main two angle uh, 45. Now let me put this guy in here. We are going to see something occur. Our square is huge, and it's still a square because we didn't change to a ball. There we go. Now everything will work perfectly. Uh and it, and it does. And it, this is if I ever played this game, I would be disappointed. But this is just testing, so it's it's perfectly acceptable. Now there's one other thing and that is color sprite. Uh and what you can do is is color your sprite. <laughs> uh so we'll delete all that and we'll go to our ball and we will edit this. No! Don't save. Edit. Alright, we'll delete all these. So it's just a plain old plain sprite. And we're actually going to go to images. Um, intensity. Saturation. We'll go like that. Now it's gray. Now we have a gray ball. But I want to be able to choose any color ball I want. So we're going to go here and we're going to say today I want a bluish ball. So we'll toss that in there. And now when we run it, you're going to see our ball is bluish. <laughs> if we put the ball in the room. Uh, which seems to be my weakness today. Uh, so let's run that. <laughs> and uh, we should get our bluish ball. We we did. So that is good. Um, now actually it comes to the end of the of the thing. But I need to teach you how to do it in... GML, so we got another double that or more, which is exciting. 
So let's hop right on in and, uh, and start our coding. Now to change our sprite in code, we can just say sprite underscore index equals SBR PR underscore box. Boop. Did it. We, we changed our sprite index. Um, so when we run that, we're going to see he will not be a ball, but he will be a box. And he was a ball. So that worked. But say I want to change my sub image when I do that. Well, I can just say image underscore index equals five. And what that will do is here, we'll, we'll, we'll say it equals one. And um, we're going to go to our box. We're going to go like this. We're going to say in number zero, we're going to put a zero. And number one, put a one. And number two, we'll put a two. Uh, and now, when we run this, and change it to a box, you're going to see he will be image index one. He's at least started at it. But say we want it to stay there, we can say image underscore speed equals zero. Uh, and now when we run this, it'll work. But there's a better way of doing that. If you want your image speed to be zero and you just want a single image, you can use the thing image single equals one. Now it will not only set your image index to one, but it will also set your speed to zero. So uh, that's good if you have like an uh, animation of a whole bunch of different types of th things and you just want to choose one of them, then you can say image single random image number or something. So you can say random image ra ra random image number. And and this is an extra little special tidbit that I'm giving you today uh, that, that normally wouldn't be in the tutorial series, but I'm tossing it in there. Uh, because I'm a big, a, a big sweetie. Uh, so there you saw it chose a random image single. Uh, so that's cool. And now we want our uh, our transform sprite. So say I wanted I wanted it to be a different angle. Uh, we can do that with the thing uh, image angle equals. 45 or 80 and uh, now when we run that you'll see he will be rotated a bit and then there's also also and he's <laughs> and he's going he's animating because we never told him not to this time uh, then the, there's also uh, image underscore x scale and that will set our x scaling to a thing and image underscore y scale we'll set our y scale to a thing <laughs> and and this will be a little obscene but uh and it does the scaling before it rotates it so you'll see it, it stretched it sideways and then it stretched it really long and then it rotated that uh so that's good to know now there's also uh mirroring Oh shoot, I didn't even thought of that. You are like the winter sun shining down. The next thing we want to do is blending. So we want to say image underscore blend equals C aqua. I think that's how you do it. Uh, so if we actually want to keep our circle here because it's a nice color for this. And we run this, you can see it worked just perfectly. So it set, it gave us our nice little light blue, just like before. And, and we can set this to anything. You just say C underscore, and then it'll give you a big list of colors that you can choose from. Uh, so my favorite, uh, 
I actually don't have a favorite, so we're just going to go with Maroon. I like Maroon. Um, it Because it reminds me of my past. Anyways, that's the end of the tutorial for today. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Uh, if you didn't enjoy, um, then uh, then click it anyways, because I I think some people will. <laughs> don't do that. Don't be don't be like that. Uh, but if you enjoyed so much that you would like to know when my other tutorials come out then you can hit the subscribe button and I will teach you every single action in Game Maker and the code for it. So, oh, excuse me. That was my mouth. I don't know why I made that sound. Uh, it's the morning. That's my excuse for this morning. Uh, so, thanks for watching. I've been Cameron Penner. And I'll see you guys next time.